O oh, wise seer of burning truth, I come to you with my questions. Am I like... gay? Well, I tried. Listen, identity is something that trips people up. It would be really great if there was some sort of quick fix for figuring out who you are. Unfortunately, it's usually not that simple. So in this video, I'm gonna break down a few things. One, what is sexual orientation and gender identity? Two, what does it mean to question those parts of yourself? And three, and most importantly, how do you know what labels to use? Let's go. Sexual orientation describes the gender or genders of the people that you're attracted to, or not if you identify as asexual or aromantic. Meanwhile, gender refers to the societal expectations, expressions, and roles typically associated with and expected from a person's sex assigned at birth, often classified as a binary between masculine and feminine, even if the reality is a lot more of a spectrum than that. One thing people get wrong a lot about these terms is the idea that they're rigid and unchangeable. In actuality, both people's identities and the way society views those labels and identities are fluid and evolving. A person's dating history alone doesn't define their sexual orientation. Knowing the differences between sexual orientation and gender identity and how this impacts the way you navigate the world can really help you figure out who you are. All people are impacted by cis-heteronormativity. This idea that all people are assumed to be cisgender and heterosexual. Hence the need for people to come out of the closet with labels like gay or transgender in the first place. There are lots of terms people use to describe themselves nowadays, always has been, but our definitions of those words tends to change as society changes. There's also no right or wrong time to first start questioning your identity or decide on one label and then decide there's something else that fits you better later on. Coming out and self-discovery can take a long time and be fluid, ongoing processes. It's important to remember to do so at your own pace. Some people find a label and stick to it forever. Some people come out at different points throughout their life. Some people reject any labels at all. You can take whatever path you want. This is because different parts of our identity can mix in different ways. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of stigma, even from within the LGBTQ community. For example, there's this harmful idea that trans women can't also be butches with short cropped hair and wear suits, but that's just not true. Because gender identity, being a woman, and gender expression, wearing suits, are two different things. Just know that language and labels are there to liberate us, not confine us. Some things that can help are being educated on different identities and labels, finding a community of people who share your identity, either in person or online, having meaningful conversations, and allowing yourself to start small. For example, some people like to start out with a new set of pronouns just with a small group of close friends before trying it out on a larger scale. But ultimately, how you navigate your identity is your choice. Do what's best for you. <laughs>